Green is the theme for most gardens. With spring not far away, all the world is turning green. Grass, trees, plants, clovers, party decorations, and yes, even insects. One thing is for sure, whether exotic or ordinary, green bugs are certainly a festive part of spring. Here is a list of some of the most common bugs that possess green exoskeletons in the insect kingdom. Praying mantis. Possibly one of the most recognizable green-colored insects on the planet, the praying mantis is both intriguing and terrifying. While there are many different types of mantises, the praying mantis, sometimes known as the praying mantis, for its predatory habits, is familiar for having its front legs in a praying position. While praying mantises can be flesh-colored, tan, brown, white or yellow, they are usually green. A praying mantis is one of a group of insects that are quite interesting. Their heads are shaped in a triangle at the end of a long neck. They can turn their heads a complete 180 degrees when watching for prey. They actually have five eyes, two large and three smaller between them. This is for searching the area around them for prey. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are fairly harmless creatures, at least to us humans. However, they enjoy a diet of grasses, leaves and cereal crops, making them a farmer's enemy. Grasshoppers get their name from their color and diet, and the fact that they are often seen hopping through the grass. Grasshopper likes to eat young grass, so you can easily found them in the wilderness of the grass field. There is no feasible way for you to trap them. If you want to catch them, you can catch by hand. Katydids. Katydids, or bush crickets as they're known in England, are pretty creepy, and also pretty green. Similar to a leaf in appearance, the katydid belong to the same family as crickets and grasshoppers and are well known for their ability to camouflage, i.e. their leaf appearance. Katydids are a noisy garden guest, but they are relatively harmless unless there is a large infestation in a garden. Because they eat just about anything. They have an abundant supply of food in most gardens. They prefer soft plant matter, but will also eat other live or dead insects, silk, wool, synthetic fabric, paper, wood, rubber, fruit, vegetables, and other foods. Aphids. Aphids can be a major problem when it comes to plants. Known as plant lice, aphids are tiny, sap-sucking insects that are known to infect plants. While they are a pretty shade of green, if you notice an infestation of aphids on your plants, you would be best off calling an exterminator. The aphids feed by sucking the nutrients out of plants by way of their sap. Aiming predominantly at new leaf shoots and flower buds, the insect will inject their proboscis into the soft buds and leach the sap out of the sprout. Green Stink Bugs Stink bugs, also known as shield bugs, are from the family of Hemiptera. They have nicknamed shield bugs because the wings on their back made them look like they are carrying a shield. Stink bugs are generally not harmful to human, except a few incidents of biting, and their stinky smell can be quite overwhelming to some people. These bugs are attracted to places with lights and heats and that is the main reasons why they have been found in homes around the world. For some parts of the world, it is not uncommon to see swamps of stink bugs attracted to street lights, especially after the rain. Cucumber beetles. Cucumber beetles are often mistaken for green ladybugs, but don't let their spotted appearance fool you, they're not a ladybug. Unlike ladybugs, the spotted cucumber beetle is not a beneficial insect. Cucumber beetles do harm to plants and can seriously damage crops. The damage to cucumber is the most serious because not only the leaves are eaten which affect the growth of the cucumber, the flowers are also being eaten which is seriously affect the yield. What even more awful is the bacterial dead leaf disease that makes the cucumber infection and the disease is rather difficult to cure. Tomato worms. Tomato worms may seem like a cute caterpillar, but beware, they can do serious damage to your garden. They are known for their bright green color, although they later turn into hawk moths. The most common tomato growing problems are caused by insects and worms. The first of these you may notice, due to its large size, is the hornworm. It's a big, green caterpillar with white stripes, and it loves to munch on your tomatoes as they hang helplessly on the vine. 
The best way to deal with these characters is just to pick them off your plants and dispose of them away from your garden. It's also said that they prefer dill to tomatoes, so if you plant some near your tomato plants, the hornworms may be more inclined to dine on the dill. Glorious Beetles The Glorious Beetle, scientific name, Chrysana Gloriosa, is considered to be the most beautiful beetle in North America, which is where it gets its nickname. Their striking green color allows them to camouflage with native vegetation in the southwestern U.S. Another name that this insect carried is Glorious Scarab. This type of insect love to rest in the humid area. It has a more pronounced head, wing sheath, and legs, but the abdomen is usually flat. Green Lacewing. If you want to place natural pest control in your garden, greenhouse, field, or irrigated crops, the lacewings will help eliminate what is known as bad insects. Lacewings are categorized as beneficial insects that greatly aid in pest control. They are commonly found in North America and proliferate in the parts that have high humidity like forest edges. Lacewings camouflage themselves, hiding behind plant leaves and stems, to blend in with the green foliage. Ambush Bugs The bug has thick front legs used to snatch their prey. It has a much shorter, less narrow head than the assassination bug. The insect is in the order Hemiptera. This order includes leaf-footed and stinks bugs. The insects in this order have a few similarities. They have mouths that pierce and suck. The wings are thin and the ends are clear. The family of these bugs is Regiviidae. One of the defense mechanisms of these beneficial insects is due to their family relationship with stink bugs. This allows them to have body fluids that are very nasty tasting which protects them from predators of their own, 